She's not on as often as she once was, so newer viewers may be asking themselves who is Donna Logan on The Bold and the Beautiful? The character was introduced back in 1987 when B&B &B premiered and was played by Carrie Mitchum until 1991. She then made occasional guest appearances over the years until 2001 when she was briefly portrayed by Mary Sheldon. However, when the character came home properly in 2006, Jennifer Garice took over the role and still appears to this day. Let us fill you in on her entire scandalous history. Back in the 80s, Donna worried about her younger sister, Katie Logan, and tried to set her up with Rocco Carner. But Rocco was more interested in Donna, though they were never able to make it work. After being hired as a model, Donna was persuaded to pose nude for a European magazine, Bill Spencer Sr. Published the photos in an American mag, and a furious Donna arranged to print nude photos of Bill as revenge. After a failed relationship with Thorne Forrester, Donna moved away to San Francisco. Can I interest you in a different Logan sister? Erin Montgomery slash Studios.com When Donna returned to Los Angeles in 2006, she tried to reunite Brooke Logan with Rich Forrester, but when that didn't work, she went after the guy herself. Unfortunately, nobody could replace Brooke in Ridge's heart, so Donna then reunited with Thorne and they became engaged. That fell apart when Katie revealed Donna had only gone back to him to spite Ridge. Next, she became involved with Eric Forrester, who eventually divorced Stephanie to be with her. Pam Douglas was enraged that Eric had dumped her sister, and plotted against them, but Eric later made Donna his wife. Pam wasn't very sweet on Donna and tried to get a bear to eat her. Erin Montgomery slash Thorn, Thorne, Rich, and Felicia didn't approve of Donna and tried to force her out of Forrester Creations. Felicia later revealed that Donna had given up a baby when she was 18, and it turned out the child was new Forrester employee Marcus Walton. But the siblings were shocked when, Eric defended Donna and adopted Marcus as his son. After Eric suffered a heart attack, Felicia helped him reunite with Stephanie, but it was short-lived and he eventually reunited with Donna. Father, meet son. Sean Smith slash Studios.com After Donna ran into her old high school sweetheart, Justin Barber, she confided to Katie that he was Marcus' father. Although Donna tried to keep the truth quiet, Justin soon discovered the truth and demanded that Donna let him know his son. After divorcing Eric, Donna rekindled things with Justin and they later married. Unfortunately, the union only lasted a few months. She then moved on to Nick Marane, but that didn't last long as she discovered he had been stealing Forrester designs. Donna comforted Eric after Stephanie's death and found herself caught between her sisters when Bill left Katie for Brooke. She also briefly became rivals with Quinn Fuller when they both competed for Eric's affection. In 2015, Donna left to live with her father, Stephen Logan, in Dallas but returned home occasionally for special events like weddings and holiday family gatherings. Eventually, she moved back to Los Angeles and was on hand for the revelation that Flo Fulton is actually a Logan as well as Katie's brush with death. Although happy for Brooke that she was finally reuniting with Ridge, Donna was stunned to see the video of her sister locking lips with Bill. Though she promised Brooke she'd keep the secret, Quinn made sure the kiss was exposed at the most humiliating time for Brooke. Loyal to the Logans, Donna helped support Brooke during her marital crisis and joined her sister in helping Katie later reconcile with Bill after his heartfelt plea. She also joined both Brooke and Katie in forgiving Flo and welcoming her to the family, although Brooke was decidedly less enthusiastic than her sisters. Donna also reminisced about her romance with Eric and was hopeful when he was having problems in his marriage. Eric was unable to perform with Quinn but when Donna admitted she always kept Honey around to remind her of her honey bear and they shared an embrace, he felt inspired again. Unfortunately, Donna's hope of a reunion with Eric fell apart when a jealous Quinn insisted that he fire her from Forrester and cut her out of his life. Stay tuned to see how Donna's life continues to unfold. Adblock test, why?